Hello friends, good morning. I am Dr. Puldeep Mahodikar presenting before you once again uh, the poem Solitary Reaper by William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth was the poet laureate of the United Kingdom and remains an important figure in English literature. Lyrical Ballads, which was written in 1798, a book of poems that he co-authored with S.T. Coleridge, helped launch the Romantic Age in English literature. Wordsworth laid stress on the importance of nature and the simple life and felt that poetry should be written in the language of ordinary people. Some of his major works are The Prelude, Lines Composed a Few Miles About Tintern Abbey, Daffodils and The World is Too Much With Us. The Solitary Reaper is one of Wordsworth's most famous ballads. The poem praises the spontaneous overflow of powerful feeling that Wordsworth identified as the heart of poetry. The speaker of this poem doesn't understand the words of the Reaper's song and is instead captivated by the expressive beauty of the singer's voice and moved by the mood that it creates in him. So friends, this was just a little introduction of William Wordsworth and what kind of uh, writing he does, I means what he has done in life. The Solitary Reaper was written in November 5, 1805 and published in 1807 in the collective poems in two volumes. This poem is unique because while most of Wordsworth's work is based closely on his own experiences, the Solitary Reaper is based on the experience of someone else, author and friend Thomas Wilkinson as described in his Tours to the British Mountains. The poem, like most, most of Wordsworth's poetry, is distinguished by its straightforward use of language, as always Wordsworth uh, used in his poetry, and meter as well as its natural theme and imagery. It reflects Wordsworth's belief in importance of the natural world. Uh, that poetry should be written to provide pleasure through a rhythmic and powerful expression of emotion and leaves readers with a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings long after it is read. Let's take a look at the short version of the poem and then we will try to understand the poem. The poem begins with the speaker asking readers to behold a young girl reaping and singing by herself in a field. The song the girl sings is a sad song and anyone passing by, the speaker says, should either stop and listen or gently pass so as not to disturb her. He is so struck by the sad beauty of her song that the whole valley seems to overflow with its sound. In the second stanza, the speaker compares the girl's singing to that of nightingale and the cuckoo bird. He says that the song she sings is more welcome than any nightingale might sing to weary travelers, means tired travelers, exhausted travelers in the desert. And the sound of her voice is more to hear than the cuckoo bird in spring. He is utterly enchanted. Although, as we see in the next stanza, he cannot understand the language of the song and so cannot say what the song is about. In the third stanza, the speaker tries to imagine what the song might be about. Given its sad tune, he speculates that her song might be about some past sorrow, pain or loss of old unhappy things or battles fought long ago or perhaps he says it is a humbler simpler song about some present sorrow pain or loss a matter of today 
the poem ends as the speaker understands that whatever the girl sings about does not matter it is the beauty of the song and her singing that touches his heart and lingers in his mind giving him joy as he travels up the hill and carries her song with him long after he can no longer hear it some lines we will have to uh, understand like stop here or gently pass what is the significance of this line this line uh, is noted for for its simplicity humanity and adoration of nature the poet hears the song sung by the girl it is a sad song the poet says to the passing by people to either stop and listen to the beautiful song sung by the girl or gently pass so that the girl should not be disturbed he wants to enjoy the song as he finds the song very beautiful though sad then uh, if we come to the lines means after we have seen this line stop here or gently pass it is the most important sig significant line from the poem then if we see the lines that are also most important no nightingale did ever chant more welcome notes to weary bands of travelers in some shady haunt so it is also these lines are also very significant means here poet has compared the singing of the girl to that of nightingale and a cuckoo bird he says that the song she sings is more welcome than any nightingale might sing to weary travelers to the exhausted travelers this i have already explained in the desert it is like a soothing shade for these tired travelers for these exhausted travelers then if you see the lines breaking the silence of the seas among the farthest hebrides so what is the meaning of this line these are this this these lines are also very significant from the point of view of uh, literature study the sweet song of the solitary reaper girl is very sweet he compares her song to that night angel and cuckoo it is like a welcome note to the tired travelers her song breaks the silence of the sea which flows among the far away group of islands called hebrides it is the name of the group of island called hebrides then that has been and maybe again and these are the concluding line of the third stanza the poet says that the song of the girl might be about some past sorrow pain or loss of old unhappy things or battles fought fought long ago or perhaps he says it may be about some natural sorrow loss or pain which she had or she may face in the future then the concluding lines the music is in my heart i bore long after it was heard no more this concluding concluding lines uh, the poet is not able to understand actually the song of the girl but the beauty of the song and her singing touches his heart and remains in his mind giving him joy as he travels up the hill her song is so beautiful that he carries her song with him even lo long after he can no longer hear it so already some lines have repeated but i uh, last i concentrated some of the important lines from the poems so thank you students for listening this video silently please like share and subscribe my channel and listen it again and again so that you can try to understand the interpretation the analysis and even say i, I will say the summary of the poem thanks friends